Hi guys, it's me, Kathy, Mrs. Handy Are You. Hope you guys are doing really good today. I'm doing pretty good. Mr. Mr. Handy is home and he's doing really well. And uh, I mean, his, his wrist is sore and all that, but you know, otherwise he's doing really well and uh, walking around okay and all that. So he had the stents put in and it's, I think he's gonna feel a lot better once he gets over this. You know, I'll be able to breathe better. And thank you so much, you guys, for your prayers. I mean, you don't know how much that means to me. I feel like we have our own prayer group and our own family. So I, I really, really appreciate it. it. It meant a lot to me and to Mr. Handy, you know. Um, he did, yeah, he didn't get home till my son brought him into Boston uh, early yesterday on Friday and then he didn't get home till nine o'clock and I thought they were gonna end up keeping him overnight, but they didn't. Uh, so yeah, he's he's doing good. He didn't have any complications or anything. And uh, yeah, I was gonna show you proof of life and have him walk in, but he's in the middle of watching a football game. So I decided we'll, we'll leave him to watch the football game and be happy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I wanted to thank you guys for your donations. I mean, that's awesome. I just decided to put it up in a whim, you know, and I, I just really appreciate you. So thank you so much. Um, and somebody made a comment. I mean, I've had great comments. I can't, I can't uh, tell you about every one that really was funny or important or something, but there's one that, uh, where, where a guy shared my video with a friend in Atlanta and the friend in Atlanta called me the church lady. <laughs> I mean, I love that. They call, he called me the church lady. I mean, I'm so like not a church lady <laughs> just because I quote a couple things that I've looked up. You know, I don't, I don't know this by heart, but like a lot of you might know this these quotes by heart, I don't, I end up looking them up, you know, it's so funny to be called the church lady, and uh, negative, you know, negative 48, he's been, Michael, he's been doing church lady uh, voices lately, you know, in this past week, so that was really funny that the person called me a church lady, and negative's been doing a church lady, you know, voice, <laughs> it was really cool, um, yeah, and thank you so much for following Truth Seeking Gal. Um, I don't know if I'm, I'm making it clear because I know I talk funny, but it's Truth Seeking Gal. <laughs> in, case, in case you can't hear what I'm saying. I'm, I know a lot of people still can't hear me, but that's one of those things I hope I can fix eventually. I, I need a new computer. I think that's what we've come to realize, that something's up with the computer because when we try to do um you know a microphone with it it's things aren't working so i've tried a few different microphones and i keep having to return them so i'm really sorry is you can put closed captions on with um on my phone anyway like i'm using a phone at the moment but um there's three dots for mine and i know it's not an apple it's an android so I don't know what apples have, but for mine, there's like three dots in the corner for on for YouTube. And if you hit it, you'll see that you can uh, do a playback speed slower or faster. Like for instance, if you, if you want to um, look at a video and it's going to buy too fast, you can slow it down to, you know, 0.25 or something and it will go a lot slower and you can look at the scenes that they're, you're seeing or the, or the shots. Like on 4VKM, I do that all the time. That's a great channel. And I don't know if it's a white hat channel or if it's just a guy, but I've heard that the guy who does it looks like a young JFK Jr. So, well, it could be, could be in the family, you know. Anyway, I was gonna say with those three dots, you can, change the speed of your video. You can also put on closed captioning. So if you need closed captioning, you know, go ahead and do that. I don't know if you have the patience 
for it, you know. I mean, I'm sure you'd rather just hear it louder. You know, I would, but if you if you want, you can put on closed captioning. So I'm sorry that that's still an issue. I, I do try to speak up. I'm really trying to project, you know. Uh, anyway, and I've had a lot of helpful comments, you know, putting me in the right direction for different things to look at. And I, I really appreciate that. That's been very, very helpful. So I, I appreciate you guys with your comments. So I, I think what I might do, um, because I'm getting tons of questions and I've been trying to answer all the questions and it, it's really taken a very, very long time and I'm not trying to complain or anything, but I, but I think what I'm gonna do is um, pick some questions and answer them in the next video. And if, hopefully I'll remember to do that. If I don't yell at me, you know, yell at me, you know, I don't know, you know me, I, I have to have notes and I don't have the best memory and everything. Uh, here she goes after my water again, whatever. So let's hope that that works out. <laughs> and you can see I'm wearing my George, you know, George News. You should always watch George News on Telegram. And he puts up YouTube videos that you can decode. You can decode everything on George News as well. And, and he puts up all the, uh, bless you, he puts up all the, uh, POTUS statements, so if you want to know what President Trump is talking about, all decodable. All of his statements are decodable. You can take all the caps, all the capitals, and decode it that way. You can take all the lowercase letters, decode it that way. I mean, there's so many ways. You can um, take something in quotations, no matter where you see it, in a, in a headline, news article, anyway. For President Trump or anywhere, you see something in quotations, decode it. Doesn't matter where you see it, you should decode it. Or if you see something capitalized, you know, and the rest of the wording is not capitalized, like a word is capitalized, decode that. You're going to find out what's going on. You really will. So I think it's very helpful to do that. So anyway, um, so I have a lot from negative as usual. And I did get to talk to him again, so that was awesome. Uh, thank you, Negative. I love you. And we know who you are. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is just a few different things. You know how he's, he jumps around a lot. So you can decode all these phrases that I'm going to give you. And obviously, I didn't decode all of them because it would, I mean, the the video, if, if I did that, the video would be like hours long, you know, so if you hear something that speaks to you, decode it, you know, I mean, that's what we're supposed to be doing on uh, the best jamaturnator.com, especially if you have numbers in, involved in it, and it, even if you don't, do it anyway, because, uh, and then you all the blank space to put your phrase or your word in, and then you'll see what each uh, word in your phrase, or if you're only doing the word, what the word equals in numbers. And, and he said your brain absorbs it. You know, it's like, uh, even though you don't think you're gonna remember it, at some point you're gonna remember it. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And then, and then you take one match from down below that says you hit match on bestjamatronator.com. And then you use that match, which is usually a phrase or something, and then plug it into gematrix.org. And um, when you have a choice from uh, Jewish and all that kind of gematria, just choose simple on gematrix.org and you'll get a thousand matches, not really, but you know, a lot of matches. And then you see which one speaks to you or which few speaks to you. So anyway, you see the, my Punisher bag right behind me? It's, I should have moved the chair more. So it wasn't like oh, right there, but too late. You know, I'm not going to start again. <laughs> but yeah, that's the same Punisher bag that George had when he went on Air Force One, like a few, I think it was several months ago by now. And he had an Air Force One luggage tag hanging on it. It was really cool, so I was like, I have to have that. You know, I 
I'm so uh, dorky that way. You know? um, yeah. Let's see. So here's here's just the negative things. Uh, quotes. Sorry. Oh gosh. Um, this is on the 26th. I don't usually give you dates, but it's in front of me. So 10:26, 21, and he said Jesse Waters dropping bombs, and he said he was John John. Now, I always thought Jesse Waters was uh, one of his kids, you know, even before I knew about Kaylee and everybody, I always thought Jesse Waters was one of his kids because he looked so much like him, you know, when he was younger. I don't know if negative meant that Jesse, Jesse Waters, you know, on Fox is, is always played by negative, or I should say junior, you know what I'm trying to say? Or if just like this, once or twice time he, he did it, you know? So I, I'm not sure about that. I didn't really understand what he was saying. The way he said it, I guess he kind of led you to think he was always Jesse Waters. I, I don't know, tell me what you think. Let's see. Um, oh, and you know, Alan Parrott was, I knew it was Junior. Uh, yeah, they, he called him John John but you know, it's Junior. Uh, so Alan Parrott, who was the CIA agent, you know, he, we, well, he was for the, working for the CIA and he was a double agent for the NSA. And he had the turban on, you know, and all that. And he has, there's a movie out about him with falconry. I think you can see it on, Vi on Vimeo and uh, yeah. It's a great video. It's really funny because boy, there's acting in there, you know. I mean, he's a good actor, he really is. And uh, when he did it, he was supposedly had his, he grew up in Sanford, Maine. Which I grew up in Maine and uh, yeah, I've talked about him before, but anyway, bear with me. Uh, yeah, so in the movie he talk, he his parents are in the movie and all that and uh, and it's in Sanford and it's probably only 10 miles from me because I'm near the, I'm in New Hampshire, but I'm on the border of Maine. And uh, <laughs> it's so made up because they didn't have any accents and they'd supposedly been there forever living there. And he didn't have an accent. If you live in Maine and you grew up there, you have an accent, you know? So it's, it's pretty funny. I appreciate that they chose Sanford, Maine. Not because of me, because it's, just because it's fun. Anyway, so he mentioned, he mentioned Alan Parrott, who was, you know, they called him the CIA whistleblower. So if you look up Alan Parrott, you'll see all kinds of stuff about him if you're, if you're new. Uh, let's see. And he said Chanel Rion, or maybe I didn't say it right, but Chanel, R-I-O-N. He said she looks like Kaylee. And that's because it's Kaylee's sister, which means she's John and Carolyn's daughter. I knew there were more kids. I just knew it. So, isn't that cool? I, and President Trump would answer her, you know, question near the end of his conferences and um, his press conferences. And she'd always give an awesome question and he'd give an awesome answer and say, he'd say, oh, I appreciate you, Chanel, or something like that. He'd, he'd say something that, you know, said, oh, that was a very good question. So they're all related, you know. And he said that President Trump is going to talk about the Jesus strand number three, okay? And they said that this Monday, I think he meant, yeah, he meant this coming Monday would be Jesus strand two with the Mary Magdalene strand from the Jesus bloodline. So I haven't heard that yet, obviously, because this is Saturday. So that'll be awesome. And I wonder, I mean, you probably think I'm off the wall, but maybe some of you don't. I think the third strand is going to be of the DNA is going to be um, off planet Pleiadian or Pleiadian or whatever you call it, whatever. You know, I've had that come up too many times to think it's not real. And I'm, I'm not into watching all the shows about it or anything, but honestly, just from decoding, it's so frequent, you know, decoding President Trump and negative and everybody and Juan. 
I mean, that's not an accident. Uh, what, what else did negative say? He said, Il, Il Donaldo, Donaldo Trumpo, you know, that that's President Trump on, on Twitter. And he said, did you ever, I mean, I never thought about this, but Il, I-L, is Italian. And so, and he's always acting like he's Spanish. You know, he's got the little silly hats on and stuff. I mean, he's really doing the, uh, off the, you know, kind of excessive with the Mexican stuff. But E-L is Spanish. So if he wanted to be known as Spanish, he would have called himself E-L, L Donaldo Trumpo. And he didn't, he called himself I-L. So I don't know if it has to do with the Vatican, likely it has something to do with the Vatican and all the 13 bloodline families that got arrested. Oh, it was uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, 2016. It was even before he was POTUS. He was, you know, he was elected, but he wasn't POTUS yet. He wasn't inaugurated. And we found out that that happened on the on the Christmas Eve. And that reminds me of George Washington on Christmas Eve. Doesn't it remind you of that? So I wonder why. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. And then he said this, um, he's talking about Il, Il Donaldo, you know, in Spanish. And he said, come Sunday, now that's tomorrow. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Likely he's gonna give us more news, but you know, negative 48. He said, come Sunday, we're gonna shine some light on Il Donaldo's name. Now I've never, I've never worked that out, you know, I wonder. Have you guys ever worked his name out in Gematria? When are you guys, could you do Il, I-L, Donaldo, Trumpo, and just put it in the comment, you know? You can put more than one comment in, obviously, but yeah, maybe somebody could do that. I didn't think about that till now. Uh, come Sunday, we're gonna shine a light on Il Donaldo's name. Then listen to this, probably gonna have to get a case of toilet paper because they're all going to be S-H-I-T-T-I-N-G themselves. And I don't know if themselves should be like in brackets, like the bad guys. Like, like it sounds like something that hasn't happened yet. Like, I mean, you'd think that the bloodline families, they're from the Vatican era, you, you know, in, uh, oh, I can't even think. Near the Vatican, you know what I mean, with the water, Venice, Venice. That's where they were all living down that way. They were arrested like quite a while ago. Honey, you're stuck. Stop, stop. Um, and you know that the guy that was walking down, uh, the guy with the bald hair that was the uh, Secret Service guy, he, you know that was, he called himself John Galt, and that, you know that was Junior, right? during the inauguration. Okay, you know that. And he was also Secret Service agent for uh, the Obamas. So that must, you know, think of the patience. He has the patience of a saint because I think he's Saint Michael. I've said that before. Uh, yeah, patience of a literal saint. Can you imagine being the Secret Service agent of those evil people and knowing what they're doing? I... I can't, uh, anyway, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, I'm gonna skip that, um, he's talking about the night of the election, you know, the last, our POTUS's election, and, you know, it was for him 80-20, and they messed around with it, honey, they messed around with it so much that, you know, they waited and waited to give the uh, uh, results because they were trying to fiddle with it so much to make it for Biden, you know, and it's kind of funny. And he said, why did they have to wait? Why did they have to go till an ungodly hour in the morning? And I was thinking that was really funny because he said ungodly. Uh, and uh, and they, he said, they needed people busy and tied up. So I love that, that he said tied up. And then he said, the end, 
Jesus Christ won't be for everyone. And all he means is the uh, four to six percent that are cabal, you know, evil canites, uh, is that right to say canites? Yeah. And uh, psychopaths, all the rest of them are going to be fine because they'll all have common sense and they'll go, oh my gosh, what's going on? And I'll get to that part. Maybe not in this video, but I'll try. I got to go faster. Uh, sorry. I end up putting so much in the notes and then I, I don't have time to read it all. Uh, I was watching the beginning of when Buano Sabin went to Las Vegas, and I don't even know if it was really him. I kind of think it was him, but I mean, whoever it was was in a massive disguise, you, you know, um, it, which makes sense. But it was like a fat guy with a fat belly kind of disguise, and he had a, you know, the fake, the face wasn't real. I don't know, it might have been a whole, you know, mask, the, the kind you pull over your head. Or it might have been the kind that goes up to here. But his eyes looked pretty sunken in because it didn't look... His eyes didn't go to where the mask was. And uh, and he had skinny, skinny legs. I, I don't know. It was kind of funny. It didn't look too... It didn't look like a great costume. So I think it was supposed to look like a costume so that everybody would go, Oh, yeah, that's a costume. Yeah. That's not really what he looks like, and you know they'll they'll get it. So uh, anyway, the song was playing when he walked in. He was in some red car, of course, red as JFK twenty seven. And you know, then he walked in, and they were playing uh, Phil Collins in the air tonight, which happens to be from a nineteen eighty one album. Reverse that to 18, right? 81, 18. And uh, the album was called Face Value. I love it. I just love that this is too cool, too cool for school. Uh, I'm trying to, like you guys are trying to help me think of other things to say other than I love it. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other commentary. Uh, yeah, 1981, Face Value, and he's got the mask on. And so I ended up looking up that song. I just wanted to know, you know, this is important, you know, but it was more like, it just made sense. It, it wasn't really comms. It was more like it made sense for what was happening. It wasn't like you had to, could figure something out from it. But I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord, get that? If you told me you were drowning, I would not lend a hand. And I've gotten before that certain people, like I think it was Kamala, was thrown off the deep end out in Gitmo or someplace like that. Yeah, I've gotten that specifically, like going down like a rock. It was literally, that's what they were saying, like a rock. So if you told me you were drowning, I would not lend a hand. But I don't know if you know who I am, yeah, nobody knows. Well, maybe they know right at that moment. Uh, well, I was there and saw what you did. Yeah, he sees everything. God sees everything, you know. Anyway, I saw what you did, saw it with my own two eyes. I know where you've been. It's all been a pack of lies. And then the drums go like really loud and the uh, drum solo, boom, 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 you know, all the booms. So you probably think I'm weird for going into that, but it seemed like a, a cool thing to me. Let's see. Um, he said, uh, Michael Jackson underscore Q really is Michael Jackson on Telegram. <laughs> So take a look at him. He drops all kinds of bombs, you know. And he was saying that he's blowing me away. And he was talking about the number of, uh, I was going to say prescribers, subs, you know, subscribers. And that he's beaten him and everything. 
He's blowing me away. You know why he's saying that? Because something's going to happen to him. Negative. We'll get to that. Something's going to happen to him, blowing him away. I hate to say that, but boy, that's coming up this week, big time. It is. Then he, then he said, the best is yet to come, 228. Then I decided to go, you know, well, he didn't say 228. He just said, the best is yet to come. And I, anyway, so I did the hidden Christ brother. Remember me and the brother with Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. The hidden Christ brother, 228. Only the good die young, 228. Remembering who you are, 228. It all makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So, check that on the floor. Did I get this out of order? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I might, I might have this out of order. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to go with it. Uh, in my opinion, Revelation 11 that I talked about in the last video is happening like now, or it's happening very, very soon. Go back and, and read Revelation 11. It's not long, and you're going to be like, whoa. I, if that's happening now, it's going to take a lot of, I don't know. We're going to have to calm each other down. Let's put it that way. So read Revelation 11. I've been reading from uh, the Geneva Bible online and just look up Geneva Bible uh, 1599 from the year 1599 and uh, it has uh, I guess it ha has a few more books in it than the King James uh, so that hasn't affected what I've been decoding so far but it, that's why I've been looking at it it's one of the few that you can look at online that has extra books so yeah, and so, if so, like I said last time, if somebody tells you that nothing's been deleted from the Bible, we'll just say, oh, well, then what happened with the King James Bible? I mean, right here, right here, when they described King James Bible, I mean, um, Geneva Bible, they said that certain books were deleted from it for the next one, and King James was a mason, and he wanted 66 books to freak us out, you know? Um, yeah. So I asked negative because I felt like Revelation 11 was happening. Uh, and so I asked, I got to ask him a question or two this, this past week. So I was talking specifically about that. And I was asking him about, uh, there was a, there's a lot of, uh, in Revelation 11, I can't remember which one. Anyway, uh, it says uh, that they were, that it's talking about the two witnesses through this whole Revelation 11. And remember the twins and everything? Uh, yeah, so Revelation 11, and they, uh, they end up, the beast ends up coming after them. They die, they're killed, and then they, they're there in the street. I mean, that's what it says in the Bible. They're there in the street for three and a half days and they're not buried. And then at the end of three and a half days, then uh, God's power raises them up. And um, within an hour, there's a great earthquake and 7,000 people die. So I'm thinking it's probably cabal people because I don't, they wouldn't kill the good people. I really don't think they would. So I wouldn't be afraid. And I've gotten so many times when I get all these things about disasters, then I also get, don't be afraid. You're safe. So all that isn't for us, you know? Um, yeah, and then at the end of it, it talks about, you know, lightning and thunder and all that and uh, storms. And that's what I think the storm is upon us means the end of Revelation 11. So, yeah. So when I asked him about Revelation 11, he's, and I was talking about, uh, there were, it said, I, I already talked about this before, but 
I decoded some of it and I hadn't done this before. That it was in the, the city, they mentioned the city of where our Lord was killed. Well, that's Dallas. I mean, now, you know, that's Dallas because it's JFK. I mean, most people would think it's over in Israel, you know, but we're, I'm thinking here in Dallas. And that it's a great city. And negative was had brought up just a few days back that of just great doesn't mean good. So if you hear the word great, it doesn't necessarily mean good. Um, because remember the quote from Junior, uh, people would say to him, oh, it, you could be a great man like your father. And he'd say, well, I'd like to be a good man. I'd rather be a good man, you know? So he knows exactly because he helped write. I mean, he probably wrote all of it because he's the word, you know, John. Um, he knows that it said great in Revelation, Revelation 11. And he knows that the city isn't great, you know, Dallas. Anyway, at the time I thought it meant, because it's in the Revelation it's 11, it says um, the city, I thought it meant two cities because it was talking about two different spirits, the spirit of Egypt and the spirit of Sodom. And so I thought, well, you know, Egypt is probably Dallas because they mentioned where our Lord was killed. And Sodom was probably Washington, knowing the way they act in Washington. Um, he said, he said to me, Dallas sounds about right. You know, and he talked about lots of other things. And he didn't really talk about Revelation 11 too much. But when I decoded what he answered me, it, oh, stop it, honey. He, it all went back to Revelation 11, you, you know, uh, Anyway, so, yeah, I won't go into Revelation 11. You guys can read it. Yeah, so I won't, I won't read that. That takes too long. Um, so anyway, Dallas sounds, Dallas sounds about right equals 262. Honey, stop it. You guys stop it. I can't do my stuff. Um, sorry. Let's see. Dallas sounds about right is 262. Just, in to just enjoy the time left is 262. State of the Union address is 262. It sounds like the emergency alert. Controls the universe is 262. City with the spirit of Sodom is 262. So he tells me a line, he says a line to me, Dallas sounds about right. And part of it is a almost word for word quote from Revelation 11. City with the spirit of Sodom matches at 262. And it, then it mentions Egypt. City with spirit, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Congratulations, Egypt is 262. So we got both of them in there. He's going back, he's going back, talk to me about Revelation 11, kind of without talking about it. Don't, don't you forget about me. Well, that's a song, but don't you forget about me is 262 because he's going. I hate to tell you this, but I think everybody should be ready. Um, this is serious stuff is 262. The true resurrection is 262. Let's see. I'll give you a few more uh, quotes that he talked to me about. You know, after I asked him about 11, he, he gave me all these different snippets, you know, and different little things that he talked about, but he really didn't talk about it. Only in, you know, decoding he did. So if you want to decode these, I'm sure you'll find out something on your own. Okay. He said, eight, eight years of nonsense before Trump. So I, I don't have numbers for that. We went, we went to seven different countries. Money system, you know, money system. No way in hell they can get it again. 
it really is game over. And that, you know, when you just look at that for double meanings without decoding it, it's like he's he's leaving temporarily. That's what's happening. Um, a damn lie. I, I did decode that. All a mind game. I don't know at this point. And I wrote down phrases that are the kind of thing that are decodable. I didn't write the whole paragraph down. I did the decodable part. Sorry. Um, he also said, revelation is truth. I did that one. That equals 269. I am named true prophet of God is 269. I will love you forever, 269. Isn't that awesome? I love. I will love you forever. I am coming soon, my daughter, is 269. If today is your last day, 269. Another sacrifice shall stain, is 269. The reincarnation of Jesus, 269, coming back. On my way to see you soon, 269. The name of the risen Savior, 269. And I'm emphasizing that because he's not staying gone. He's coming back, okay? So even though it happens, he's coming back. Then he, he also said a damn lie. That's 59. Find God is 59. Face mask is 59. Third, T-H-I-R-D is 59. I get tons of things about twins, but lately I'm getting threes. I'm thinking President Trump is one of them. You know, I know I, I was looking at him as God, like, I mean, I don't know how to look at President Trump. I mean, maybe you feel the same way, but um, he's definitely one of them, at least. I mean, they're all part of each other. I think it's kind of like it. But anyway, it says third, 59. Um, go up, like going up to heaven, it says in Revelation 11, 59. Pains, P-A-I-N-S, is 59. Um, Joe, J-O, Biden, B-I-D-E-N. And I've been having somebody with the first name of Joe leaving me some wonderful comments that help me with the twins. So I don't know if that's a coincidence or, it, you know, Sometimes I, d I don't think it's a coincidence, but anyway, you know how there's no coincidences. So, oh, honey, my goodness. I gotta move these papers so she'll stop butzing around here. Anyway, um, I said, fa did I say face mask is 59? Joker is 59. Dying is 59. I said, go up is 59. Joe Biden, the lie is 59. Um, I'm thinking that goes along with the Joe Biden because they're pretending, you know, Junior is one of the Bidens. And this is cool. I, I lived in a, a, quite a long time ago, we lived in a town called Ashland, or Ashland, we pronounced it Ashland. And that was 59. And Lint, L-I-N-D-T, that's the chocolate maker. I don't know if you know about Lint chocolates. And they, they're made right near me. So I thought that was really neat, you know, right? And we, I don't know, I just thought that was cool. Probably doesn't mean anything, but. Um, and then he said, Donald effing Trump. He didn't say effing. He said, draining the swamp worldwide. And he said, the CCP, um, Communist Party in China, has no power and Xi Jinping is working with POTUS, which, you know, we figured. And uh, what else did he say? 
He's talking about Evergrande. Sorry, put the paper in the way. Evergrande is the name of a crypto. And uh, it's bigger times, what, five? Than Lehman Brothers when they went belly up. And that messed everything up. That You, you know. Um, and they're about ready to go down. Uh, maybe that's what's going to start the big crash that, the, that we're waiting for. And if I were you, I'd be ready to buy and not sell, you know, because you don't, you don't sell when things happen like that. You buy. But anyway, he said something interesting here. Um, he said President Trump, remember how he was adopted, and uh, that really General Patton is his dad, that he was adopted, and then he gave the time that he was adopted. And he, he said he was adopted at 10 54, it must have been in the morning, and that equals, you know how he's always saying zeros count for nothing, or zeros mean nothing? Um, so you could take the zero out, and then you're left with 154, and that equals the chosen one. So it's like, it's all choreographed, you know, it's all planned. Um, let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, this was part of when I was talking to him, and I scribbled a lot. And oh, and previously, not another conversation we had before that, he told me, because I said, oh, if JFK dies, because remember he said he would die at 104 after the week to remember, and we're all upset about it. And I said, and then at that time I said, oh, does he come back? And he said, well, it's Jesus' second coming, not his third coming. And I still haven't figured all this out, you know. If you guys have an idea, let me know. Um, so anyway, what I decided to do, I thought about this again this, this week. So I put, it's the second coming of Jesus because that's how you do it. You, you, you know, you hear something and you go, well, that means something. I'm going to look at that. So I remembered it from probably a week ago. It's the second coming of Jesus. Now I didn't add it's the third coming because that's, you know, you, you don't need that much. Anyway, it's 297. And Yellowstone National Park that I'm always talking about is 297. And, you know, uh, in Revelation 11, they talk about a huge earthquake and a tenth of the city falls. I still think it's D.C. I mean, it just makes sense. And I think it's all a manufactured earthquake. And you know how um, Nancy Drew is always going around Washington, D.C. and showing you all the weird things that are happening and the weird tents that are set up and then they move the tents and then the the tiles, like say outside the Capitol on the um, grounds where the, all the tiles on the ground are, they're replaced. And I think they're putting charges in there or they're tying into something or they're going to make it flood or something like that. I mean, they've had a lot of flooding in D.C. that doesn't make any sense, you know, and they, I, I remember Juan saying that, oh, this was way back and that was way before he even put his uh, book out and it's in the book too from a I think it was written a couple of years ago and he said we should put a fence around DC and flood it so maybe the earthquake will cause flooding maybe it'll change the course of the Potomac River and it'll flood DC and it's like not usable anymore like that I, I don't know but that's just a thought let's see I've already done that. Um, sorry. Um, oh, he said, I didn't know this. He said, when you wash your hands, you know, everybody's washing their hands constantly now because of all the stuff. He said, when you wash your hands, it takes the oil, you know, like the natural oil that you have off your hands and the oil is what stops germs. Like, I couldn't, I was like, really? I didn't know that. And I feel so stupid. 
Uh, and he said, Kim Clement said we would get a president who would say choice words. This is how he emphasized it, choice words. And we got one. And he said, Merry effing Christmas. This is all from negative. Um, anyway. I don't know. There's just too much information here. And he said, you know, I've heard this before, but I didn't really know if it was true. He said, definitely, there are no nukes, nuclear weapons or anything anymore. So when you start hearing the FFs about a nuclear war in X, Y, and Z country or shooting missiles or at us or whatever, it's not real. Just like I said, it's not real. I know that it's going to come up. He said there's nothing in space even unless we own it. I don't know if he means we by the Alliance or we as the United States. Uh, he said hospitals, listen to this. I mean, I hope this is really soon. He said hospitals and hospital insurance will be gone. I love that. I have so many hospital bills. It's like, oh, it's been going on for years, like these major hospital bills. It's, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about because it's happened to everybody. Um, yeah, and he was talking about how, you know, when Biden was in the Senate, he was helping to pass the, the legislation that made marijuana a class one felony and heroin was only a class two. And they did it because they knew more black people used marijuana than anything else. And they wanted to get them off the street and they were evil Ku Klux klan -y people. I don't know if I said that right, I'm sorry. Whatever, you know, KKK people and um, evil, you, you know. Uh, and that, you know, that they're uh, profit for profit prisons. It makes sense. And remember I talked about before that the people who uh, way back when, uh, what was it in uh, the record industry, it was probably started with Motown and all the record producers, if they went along with the evil guys and promoted the, like the rap and all the, the stuff that is bad, the, you know, I'm talking about the part that's bad. And uh, yeah, that they would get to go in on the, getting into uh, buying shares on the for-profit prisons. So, I mean, I hope these people are toast too. Um, yeah. Let's see. I think I wrote this already. Oh, a couple of other things that he said when I talked to him about uh, Revelation 11. He said, it's a mind game. Maybe I already said this part. I don't know, but I have it written here. And he said, who wrote these words? I was thinking, well, you probably did, you know, because you're John and you call yourself the word. At least we call him the word. Um, and he, and he said, revelation is the truth. So I don't know where I have that one. I think I did that one. And he said, okay, I know it's skipping around. I'm really sorry, but I'm, I, I rewrote a bunch of this, but I, I, I never rewrite everything because it would take me too long. He said, Meghan Markle is a dude. Well, we knew that. And she's the Rolls Royce of CIA assassins. Now, look up Rolls-Royce, too, because POTUS was always saying Rolls-Royce. Yeah, look that up. Um, and that that tummy of hers had a bomb in it. It wasn't a baby. It was a bomb. At least that, that was the plans. He didn't say that was just the plans, but he said that tummy was a bomb. And, uh, and that's why they said, oh, she had pregnancy problems and she couldn't come see President Trump, it, you wouldn't see her. So he said, we're in charge. 
Let's see. Andy said Princess Diana took her kids with her when she left. I mean, that is so encouraging and happy and uh, it's beautiful that those two people aren't hers, you know, Megan, uh, Megan you know, uh, Harry and William are not hers. She has no responsibility for those two evil people. Because I thought that they were hers and I, I thought that, you know, they would just turn to the evil side. But I'm so glad that she's got her kids. I wonder what they look like. I bet one is, is not a redhead. What do you think? Uh, yeah. This is too much. This is too confusing. Let's see. Yeah. I'm sorry there's like pauses here but there's a lot of writing and some of it I just don't want to read it all <sighs> yeah okay uh, I, I'm just gonna skip all this it's too, it's too scatterbrained I mean you think that what I told you scatterbrained well that much is like off the wall scatterbrained uh, I'm not saying negative scatterbrained. I'm just saying he changes topics quickly, you know, and sometimes I can only write half of the thought down by the time he he's on to the next topic. So I, I don't even get the whole thought, you know, it's so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're not missing really great stuff because I didn't get to write it all down. Somebody on a, a Telegram phone call asked, well, Carolyn Kennedy, not Carolyn, Caroline Kennedy Schloss, Schlossberg, gosh, be there November 2nd. And then he said, that's a dark horse. You can decode that. I have not been able to find out. And he said, Trump said Caroline Kennedy was an ambassador to Japan, which I knew. Um, and he said, Trump made fun of her, but really, he said there's an issue in quotes between Caroline and Trump, but then again, we're in a movie. And then he said at the end, you know, family comes together. So, you know, he's kind of leaving it up in the air. And I'm sure if you decode this stuff, you'll figure out kind of what's going on with her. Let's see. And he said the first arrest will shock the world. And he said, he, he said it's going to be eight out of the nine Supreme Court justices, like at one time. So what do you think about that? I mean, like, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool if that was the first arrest. We all thought it would be Hillary, you know, or Obama, but I mean, this is the whole Supreme Court, like, oh, I love it. I mean, not all of it. Uh, I guess Thomas wouldn't be, he'd be a good guy. He must be, he must be the, the ninth one. Uh, let's see. And then he said, this was fascinating. He said there'd be, um, he, he thought that the arrests were already here. Now somebody on the phone, I think was talking about, you know, the, the arrests of all the, not the high, high people, because those most dangerous ones are gone. You know, he said that before, because they're too dangerous to be out there on the street. I mean, they'd be killing children right and left. So, but he, he's talking about the, the large amount of arrests, like the one and a half million here in the United States. At least I think that's the amount that are left to, to be arrested. And uh, I think it was last night was the, the shining moon. And that's like a three quarter moon. And I got that from a decode from somebody that posted and it was from their name. So anyway, and, th and that gives light. I looked outside last night and it gives just enough light to see kind of where you're going. And I was thinking, okay, last night would have been a good night to go out and get people. A full moon, you almost it's almost like daylight. 
and maybe you're too noticeable. And then after the full moon, three days later, you get that three quarter moon and they call it the shining moon. And like I was telling you, I got shining moon from a name that was posting that seemed very interesting. So, um, yeah, but anyway, so he said, I think the arrests are already done. So I don't know if that really happened or not. And he said, 10 days of lightness after the week to remember. And then he said, JFK travels around the country. So I was kind of looking at that when he said 10 days of lightness. I was thinking, well, could 10 days, we've been looking at 10 days of darkness as maybe we should have thought mirror, you know, like mirror 10 days of darkness and think of it as 10 days of lightness, like, because he said JFK is going to be teaching us all gematria and the truth and all that. So I, I'm not sure about that. It's kind of like he went back and forth within a day or two on some topics that we've been all wondering about. Let's see. And somebody said that on the news, this was uh, yesterday on the 29th, 10, 29, that the police were at the Supreme Court and that there were tons of police cars there. So that was cool. That was at 12.27 on 10.29. I don't know if that makes any difference. And he said, arrest eight swamp monsters on the Supreme Court. So he brought that up again. And then because he was upset about being interrupted, he doesn't like to be interrupted. He said, relax, slow down, enjoy life. Any one of these things could be decoded. He doesn't say anything by accident, you guys. So don't think it, it doesn't, it's not important. It is. And he said, like I was saying, you know, I mean, all these phrases you can do. And you don't have to go on to all the a million matches. You can just kind of get the gist of it. Uh, he said, somebody on the phone asked if they were gonna cancel school. And I think she was talking about the second, but I, you know, I'm not sure exactly what she's talking about. Cause she wanted to get her daughter to go with her. She's in high school and she didn't want to go. She wanted to be in school and the mom lives not far from Dallas. And um, he ended up talking about how important it was to go and she should watch JFK 9-11, uh, to JFK to 9-11, Everything's a Rich Man's Game. It's a very, you wanna watch the longest version, three hours plus, and watch that with the daughter and she'll end up wanting to go. And he says, what is she learning in school? Basically, you're learning crud in school. So, you know, he felt it was more important to go because she'll be learning a big history lesson if she goes for November 2nd with her mom. So anyway, the, the young girl ended up hearing what he was saying because she was listening on the phone and I, I thought that was really cool. So anyway, he says that, that at that moment, but then a, like a few, like maybe an hour later, somebody else is talking to him and I don't know if they gave him new information or what, but th then he's talking about, yeah, they're gonna cancel school on the third. So, you know, like all school. Yeah. So that's a big deal. Um, yeah, this is where he brought it up, right here. This is the same phone call, the same telegram call. So he said schools, oh, my voice is going, schools, fire, and police will be closed. But he said not the real emergency services, you know, like the actual fire truck, but probably he was talking about admin administration kind of I don't know I mean it was odd for him to say schools and fire and police if he said emergency services would still be around um anyway he said JFK is going to be a teacher for us and that you know everybody used to watch like when we were young we'd watch all the 
um, going to the moon and all the rockets being launched and all that. They they'd wheel in a big old TV on a stand and we'd all watch it. I don't know if they have done that anymore. Um, but anyway, he said, then he said, second going of God. So not like the second coming of God. He said the second going of God. Somebody should do that and put it in the comments too. <laughs> if you guys have, if you guys don't mind, I think that'd be fun. And if somebody asks a question in the comments and you know the answer, it'd be great if you could put the answer in there and help each other out. Because honestly, I won't be able to answer everybody anymore. It just takes me hours. Like, because I'm getting emails too and I'm, I'm spending hours and hours after videos and the, into the next day. And like, holy moly. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I'd get that many questions. And there are questions about everything like I don't know everything you know but I try to answer the best I can um like one time one of you guys I, I'm not making fun of you I, I hope you don't think I'm making fun of you but like I just don't know the answer is what I'm trying to say somebody asked me well, well what about the streets in heaven paved with gold and I thought about it and I was like well you know, because negative, right in here somewhere, I haven't gotten to it yet. Negative said that heaven and hell are in our minds and that heaven is here on earth. And I've kind of wondered about that. Like when we prayed, you know, and we asked God to bring heaven to earth, is that what's happening right now? You know, what with the global mind reset and the money reset and the, the everything reset, um, you know, uh, I mean, we've been praying, and they, he said in the Bible, okay, pray this way, bring heaven to earth, and they really do think that's what's happening. So anyway, the person that asked me about the streets paved with gold, I was thinking, well, okay, we know our money is going to be backed by gold, at least here. I don't know about other countries, but likely. And so you, you think about streets paved with gold, and you know, maybe the, the the actual streets are going to be gold because gold is soft. You know that wouldn't work, but you know um, it's paved. It's paved with the money that is backed by gold. You know, so that's a thought. And when we're out flying around in tubes, you know, trying to we go from one place to another. Maybe we're time traveling, and there's like Michelle Fielding has a good one with Prime Minister about this, and you're traveling through like a. I don't know what you want to call it, but there's like a something around you and you're just traveling. And she called it like a tube. And it goes this way and that way. Well, maybe that's paid for with gold. You can call that a street too. I mean, I know that's odd, but anyway. But like the questions, like I don't know the answers to things like that, but I do the, you know, the best I can. Um, but you guys can help each other and hopefully... You know, I think it helps build the community up a little bit. And we're supposed to, if you know the answer to something and you you don't share it, I think that really does hurt the other person, you know. Um, might take you five minutes, but I think I think it's good. Um, good to good to do that. Anyway, sorry. Um, like I said, I'll try to answer some questions on the next video and I'll pick some out. I think I'll do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he said, okay, I'm just telling you what he said, okay? He said, there's going to be a fun, in, like in quotes, a fun lockdown for a week. And I like Lee's talking about the week to remember. You know, and then supposedly JFK dies. I think we're going to see him, but whatever. Um, and he said, everyone will be watching. They'll be watching, like worldwide, likely off planet. They'll be watching what's going on on the second and, and beyond for that week. He said, every day there will be a parade. I don't know exactly what that means, but decode it, you know, every day they'll, there'll, you know, there will, there'll be a parade. Um, 
Somebody told him that Whiplash 347 said three days work will be stopped. Now, I don't think I have the order of what Whiplash said correct. So I think you should go back and look at Whiplash 347 on Telegram and check it. I forgot to check this one. I, I usually try to fill in the blanks on some of this stuff, but I forgot this one. I'm sorry. Um, they were talking about a, so many days there would be a, um, an event that would be like the Bay of Pigs. That sounds like a false flag to me. FF, take it back. Um, and then he mentioned the 10 days of darkness. So I don't know. I still think that could be a reverse. It could be 10 days of lightness. So that was on um, the 29th. So I go back to 1029. Look at what Whiplash said and you'll see what, you know, and you know, he's Josh. Josh Kennedy was one of Junior and Carolyn's kids. So what he says is important, obviously on Telegram. Uh, he said, he talked about um, the 1952 War Powers Act. And he said 10 systems worldwide will broadcast this, like all of it. So I don't think people will be able to ignore it, you know, really think this is it. Let's see. And he's, oh, he, then he says, his name is Seth. I know I have a hard to hear me. S-E-T-H, you know, Seth Rich. And he's alive. And I, I knew that because I saw him at the, um, when was it? We're in 21. Yeah, it was February, yeah, February 2020, uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, Trump rally, which you can find with RSBN on Rumble, because they, they have every single thing that POTUS has done, President Trump. And he's also, that's also on a Clouseau video, C-L-O-U-S-1-S-E-A-U. And that, I was so cool, I was so excited because that became a Clouseau video and they show all the famous people behind President Trump at all the different rallies. And that rally, showed uh, Seth Rich and a very important person who was not named in the video. So check that out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not supposed to talk about it yet. Negative said, don't talk about it. And I know who it was and negative confirmed it. So take a look at that one and see if you can see who it is behind President Trump. <laughs> It's teasing, but you know, I, I've been told not to say anything. And then listen to this. He said, now, he said, there's three of them. I'm taking it out of, you know, he said a few things. And then what I wrote down, I pulled it out of what he said, but it, it hit me. Cause he said, there's three of them, seven miles. You can't miss them. Okay. Now I know that doesn't make sense, but Okay, you know everything he says is coded and mean and double and triple meanings. Well, three of them. Is he talking about JFK, JFK Jr., and POTUS 45? You know? Like, they're all one. Like, I've been thinking they're all one. But, you know, POTUS 45 has not been sacrificed. And I don't, and you know that I keep thinking that that's going to happen. But that, that I kept calling it an FF. But what if I was wrong? You know, I'm, I'm always willing to be wrong and change my mind. What if um, it's him and JFK Jr. that is done away with and comes back in three and a half days? What if it's not JFK Jr. and JFK that are the two witnesses who are also Enoch and Elijah? coming back after three and a half days, like in Revelation 11. Like, I don't know. And I there's a, a new, they call it an earth cam. Um, yeah, E-A-R-T-H, earth cam at the, uh, what do you call that? 
the Book Depository Museum that looks out on Dealey Plaza in Dallas, and they just started it. That's not a coincidence. So I think people are going to be going by. Maybe it's going to be look like a parade, like, oh, Jacob Jr.'s back, or I don't know. And going by, and then everybody's there. All kinds of people I know are already down there in uh, at Dealey Plaza, staying in hotels or with friends and stuff. You know, people that know negative 48, they're all down there. I wanted to go, but Mr. Handy had the operation. But what if something happens either the second or after that? Like, I don't know, because the Earth cam is there and it's looking out on the angle that supposedly Lee Harvey Oswald shot JFK and we know that he didn't do it. That was all fake. So, but there's a camera angle there down at Dealey Plaza. Like, I know I'm rambling, but, and then he said, negative said, um, sorry, I'm getting worn out. So I, I try to speak up and you, I don't know if you've ever talked to people that are hard of hearing, but my dad had lost his hearing in one ear from the Korean War. And I love my dad. I'm not saying bad stuff about my dad, but it would take a lot of energy to speak up really loud. It's just like, you're kind of like projecting a lot and you're being extra loud and you wouldn't think it would wear you out, but it does. It's so weird. Um, you probably think I'm weird, but anyway, that's how I feel right now. Like I, like I used to talk to my dad, like I'm like <laughs> pushing it all out here. Um, anyway, negative said something funny. He said that he was, I think he said he was tired of, I think he's, I think what he meant was his speaker button on his phone wasn't working, but I've got a feeling he made that part up. And he said he was tired of the phone being glued to his ear. Now, he said it kind of slow, glued to my ear. And um, I know what he's talking about because Juan Osaven used to call into Field McConnell. This channel's not around now, but way back. And he'd call in and one time he was telling the story about to, to field how, oh my gosh, and I um, I had such an issue because I was using some kind of aerospace glue. So whatever he's kind of referring to, he's working on something out there, you know, literally, and uh, probably a new technology. And he said that, he I think he said he got it on his finger and he touched his ear and then he put his phone on his ear and he glued the phone to his ear and he had to get all kinds of help to get the phone unglued from his ear. So you know that what Negative just said was a reference back to like, what, three years ago with, you know, what Wano Seven had said. I just love this, right? You know, like, don't you guys love this? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, and then Nancy Drew, I guess, had seen, I didn't see this part, but Nancy Drew had seen one of her videos that the what, the lady who goes into DC every day and videos what's going on and tries to figure out what's up, that there was a, um, a funeral procession, I think it was near the Capitol building, and she made a, you know, made a big impression on our Nancy Drew. And then negative said, well, that was fake. There was nobody in there because he said, if somebody, especially if it's near the Capitol, everybody would know about it ahead of time. So for something to happen that wasn't scheduled, it was fake. So it was just like a calm to say, yep, yeah, somebody's gone. And that was, I think it was the same day that the police went to the Supreme Court, you know, so take that for what it's worth. Let's see. So Luke had a talk last night. That was Friday night on the uh, 29th, because today's the 30th. Um, and I, I, they had put it in Telegram on Negative 48's channel, you know, to watch it. And it, the topic was called, I don't know how to say it, devolution or devolution, probably, probably devolution, because it's kind of like demolishing 
um, taking a government down to where it should be, I think, and kind of scaling it way back, you know. Anyway, devolution. So I decided to decode that because that's a funny word. And that's 137. That's Vincent Fusca is 137. Jesus Avatar is 137. And that's what Vincent Fusca is. He's a Jesus Avatar. So that's what that is. Suicide Weekend. I think that's this weekend. 137. National Guard, 137. The Fall of the Cabal, and that's also a movie series that you should watch, 137. The End Beginning, 137. Chaos Theory is 137. Jennifer Pazaki is 137. And, you know, I think she's um, our junior, is acting like who is you know, Vincent Kennedy, Vincent Patrick. What am I saying? I'm getting my oh, Twitter people and real people mixed up. And oh my gosh, not Vincent Kennedy. Strike that. Yeah. Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. is playing Jr. And that's Jen Pisaki or Saki, whatever. Okay, so I was doing 137, that kind of, it, it, that name didn't fit with my bunch, but I had to say that because it matched. So follow the cabal, the end beginning, chaos theory, 137, now it begins is 137, silent night is 137, war in Syria is 137, so it's going to look like a war, you know that. Eruptions is 137, you know, volcano, etc. Earth Twins is 137. Mother and Father, 137. And uh, Negative said that when uh, Junior introduces, let's see. What? No, he'll, when Junior is seen, I guess I should say it more like that, he will introduce his mother and father. So that, that makes sense. Mother and father is 137. So that'll be Jackie and um, John. Wreaking havoc, 137. And nerve gas, N-E-R-V-E, -E, nerve gas is 137. So that goes along with the war in Syria and everything. Motocross is 137. I don't know if you know, but negative 48 says he races motocross. So that's all 137. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to get through all this. How long have I been talking? I have no idea. Well, anyway, we'll try to be quick. Um, Patriot in the Park is Luke. Luke is JFK. So he was on last night, like I said, Friday night, and I pinned it. Oh, I didn't pin it. I put it on my um, Mrs. Handy RU Telegram channel. I have a channel. And I also have Mrs. Handy RU Chit Chat, but that's more like where you can post things and comment on each on each other. My Mrs. Handy RU is where I put, put things most of the time. Anyway, um, so it's there. It's also on negative 48's Telegram from that date, 1029. I know I'm kind of talking about the same thing over and over again. Sorry. Luke said, I'm fine. Well, to me, that's like a double meaning, like JFK is fine. He's not dead. So that equals um, 56, equals the I am USMC for the United States Marine Corps is 56. Begins is 56, just like what I was just talking about. It's beginning. Comet, 56. Attack, 56. NASDAQ, 56. Down, 56. So NASDAQ down, communications down, you know, all that. Shock, 56. Um, Face King is 56. Let's see. Emmy. 
is 56. So get it? It's all uh, acting. It's all a movie. Emmy. Uh, let's see. The MIA is 56, like missing in action. And that's what you could say about Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. because he was never found. So his plane was shot down. He was never found. And Airman is 56. And Joseph Patrick was a bomber pilot. Uh, this is more, th I just did a lot of things that uh, Luke said and the negative would chime in now and then. And I honestly got through only about 10 minutes of it, like I said, because um, I was decoding so much of it. So honestly, I haven't even heard the whole thing. They were kind of saying back and forth, like Luke would say, well, I don't know if anything's going to happen that's big on the third or the second, you know, or I don't know if there's going to be like a um, d different things happening, you know, you can, you can listen to it for yourself and, but they're always doing disinformation, you know, so it's kind of like they're saying the opposite sometimes. So he said expectant. I think the phrase was, I'm not expectant, but anyway, I wrote, I, what I decoded was expectant of things happening. 296. I am true prophet sent by God is 296. The truth is a force of nature, 296. Rapture of the holy child of God, 296. The holiest human being on earth is 296. The resurrection of Christ, 296. How about this one? Remember I was talking about three again? Three equals resurrection, 296. Jesus Will you be my teacher is 296. Remember, negative was saying that JFK would be teaching all of us during, I guess, the week. So, um, all flagging for suicidal content. And now that's a term that they say on social media. You know, they're going to flag people for that. But I thought that was interesting that that equals 296 because we also got Suicide Weekend. Um, let's see, what did I do here? <sighs> oh, I did a whole page of 296. I can't read all this. Holy moly. A plan, a plan makes Washington, D.C. a crater. Okay, 296. It's going to be gone, you guys. Jesus' death and resurrection, 296. The workplace gone in Halloween is 296. So I don't know, but it mentioned Halloween and that's coming right up. Jailed Donald Trump Supermax is 296. Now, I've gotten quite often that Donald Trump would be arrested over a long period of time. I've gotten that off and on. And like, I don't know, is he going to be arrested and it'll look like he'd been put to death? And that's like the crucifixion of Donald Trump as another Jesus? Like, I don't know, but we'll see him again. I'm not worried about that. No internet at May Day, MMX for uh, 2010, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense, May Day 2010. I know, I know that, but I've told you before, look at these things as partial uh, correct matches because to fit in with a number, sometimes they they just have to do it this way. So just take no internet is, you know, even though everybody was saying in this phone call that, oh, that's probably not gonna happen. At least that's what I got from it. Cuts off Facebook for everyone, 296. So we're all going by what Luke had said. Hoover Dam is attacked March Third. Now, like I said, March 3rd doesn't make sense, but Hoover Dam is attacked and flooding makes sense that we've heard about that for a long time or dams in general. And it won't be real, right? Um, let's see. Uh, a deleted, deleted Trump, May 10, 
is 296. Let's see, tsunami, May 9, 296, right? What am I gonna say? No, you know. Um, I, I live in New Hampshire, you know. Floods all of New Hampshire is 200, US is 296. And I got all kinds of things about New Hampshire recently, like, are they doing that for me? Are they making things fit just because they know I'm looking at it? I don't know, but I love that. And uh, <laughs> I think I, I, I don't think I kept it written in my notes, but I, I had um, New Hampshire is the New Jerusalem was a match to something I was working on. I was like, oh, we are? Like, I, I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Um, I think the you know, whole United States is the New Jerusalem. Let's see. A, a Syrian bomb, Washington, D.C., 296. Russia nuked USA in a June 10 device, 296. Now, I mean, you know, we're, we're stretching it, I know, but Russia nuked USA the way everybody thinks about Russia right now. They could e easily think that. Um, won't be real. A new president, May Day, 296. Chinese troops invaded Minot, and that's Nebraska, I think, 296. Now, I wouldn't take Minot, Nebraska, but they'll probably say, oh, yeah, Chinese troops are invading. Oh, my gosh. Um, bombing Hoover Dam, Hoover Dam again, and Holocaust, 296. Your computer is at risk, 296. Um, oh, and before I forget, I have this scribbled in here on the side, and I won't remember it unless I say it, but they were saying how using Signal, this app called Signal is a military encoded app, and it's for communicating, like, kind of like Telegram, for if things are down. I tried to tell one of my kids about it. I don't know if they'll listen, but we have Signal, so anyway, um, might be a good idea. And they, I, I'm sure you already heard this, but the other day the White Hats changed Facebook's name to Meta. And uh, I mean, I know it has other meanings. Some of the, my friends told me about it, but the one that I thought was funny was um, it means grave in Hebrew. I guess the feminine form of the word grave. So maybe if a female dies, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so what was trending on um, for hashtags was hashtag Facebook dead. So that, you know, because Meta is grave. So, yeah. Okay, so Luke said, not really. And the way he said it, I just thought, well, we have to do this. Because of the way he said it, he said, not really. Um, and that equals when President Trump says a wheel and a wall. You know, he says that at all these rallies. So that means we should know what it means, a wheel and a wall. That's 122. And it also equals another one that he says, I got them all. So it's another one that says, oh yeah, look at this one. The end is near, 122. The end of times, 122. King of Kings, 122. Events begin, 122. Double meaning, 122. My Savior, 122. Generators, 122. No more war, 122. Warn mankind, 122. Alien arrival, 122. Staged events, S-T-A-G-E-D. Staged events, 122. Great deceiver, 122. Take a deep breath, 122. And Juan says that all the time. So yet another reason to know what 122 is. Rise, rise again, 122. N, N, A, N, earthquake, 122. Waco tragedy, which is an FF, so expect those, 122. Emmy Awards, plural, 122. Time to bow, 
122. Full show, 122. Solar flare, 122. So just expect all kinds of things. Um, let's see. So negative said a long phrase, and then I think, he kind of paused and he said, I think. Well, that's 71. And rescue is 71. Toxic, remember? We were talking about other things with, um, yeah, what was it? Chemical stuff. Toxic, 71. Bunker, 71. Deceiver, 71. Car crash, 71. Lady Diana, 71. Fantasia, 71, like fake. Mask off, like we'll see them, 71. Floods, 71. Rumble, 71. Rumble can also be the EQs, the earthquakes. A secret, 71. Unreal, not real. Unreal, 71. I mean it, 71. Gog war, like Gog and Magog, 71. The ocean is 71. Now that's the tsunami, in my opinion. Let's see, Luke mentioned blackout. Um, and then he said, I have some reservations that it's really going to happen. Okay, so it's kind of like, he's saying, I don't know about that. That's probably not going to happen. But I have some reservations equals 262. Okay, just enjoy the time left. Now is, I'm not going to say the numbers. I'm sorry, it's just taken too long. Now is, now is come the trumpet. This is serious stuff. Patriots are in control. State of the Union address. Um, Martin Luther King shot. So one or somebody or a few people are going to be gone. Um, congratulations, Egypt. Remember I was talking about the city with the spirit of Egypt is Dallas. Congratulations, Egypt. So we're going back to, you know, talking about Dallas again. Um Jesus conquered the grave. That's going to happen again. The true resurrection. Uh, Donald John Christ Trump. Remember his name? So I'm thinking he's one of them. That's why the three has been coming up. Because before I was always getting twos. Um, CU23. Now the reason I thought that was important was 23 equals w when you you know in simple gematria and uh junior used to call this, this certain show uh rogue money it used to be called rogue money and i think they call it rogue news now and he called them for years and years and years and he called them as w like an undercover name and uh he, the guy would say oh w how you doing um so anyway so June, what was I going to say? CU23 means uh, I see you W, like Junior. And uh, Juan always said anything that's 23, like 23, yeah, 23 affects the whole world. And how about this one? Elvis Presley, son of God, 262. He is, I am just so sure of it. A whole bunch of these people are. And what I think is they're all Pleiadians that are working with God. And I don't know if there's 24 of them or if there's a whole lot more. First, I thought there was 12 for the disciples, the number of the disciples. But then recently I thought there was 24. So, um, you know, like General Flynn and people like that, like Mike Lindell, I'm really sure is one of them. Um, let's see who else. Uh, ben Carson is one of them. So I think there's a whole bunch of them. And then Luke, who's also nicknamed Patriot in the Park, he also said, for people that aren't aware of it, and he was talking, he's telling the story about Starbucks and how they're making people have the, um, that, the, the ID to get in the, you know, into their place. And he's supposedly in Washington. And uh, for people that aren't aware of it, it's 313. 
that equals two olive trees, one spirit, 313. Well, that's from Revelation 11 again. What do you see in my future, 313? You will get killed that way, 313. Jesus lived happily ever after, 313. And this is the kicker. This is the one that just floored me, absolutely floored me for this week. I mean, it floored me for a long time. So for people that aren't aware of it, like I said, 313. Revelation 11, to be fulfilled, is 313. Now, I'm not making that up. That matched. It was already there. Um, and then he's, Luke said, JFK said, totally untrue, 204. The event horizon, 204. The final countdown, um, let's see, I'm taking too long. Targeted individuals, high noon, new world. Enoch and Elijah, remember I was saying it's like the, the two witnesses going to Dallas. Enoch and Elijah are to come, 204. We are soul twins, 204. The power of sacrifice is 204. Is there life after death, 204. Arlington Cemetery is 204. The, the eternal return is 204. Uh, let's see. And I did it. I, I did it. I, I'll probably save this for next time, but I'll give you the gist of it. George Bannerman Dealey is 191. He's the guy that Dealey uh, Plaza is named after where the JFK was crucified. Um, I'll probably do a lot more of it because it's very interesting. But let's see. Traumatic events is 191. Remember, do not kill, 191. Two witnesses is 191. Riddle of the twins is 191. Recent earthquakes, 191. Return of the king is 191. I mean, it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen the, the day of the second or after that. Uh, they've also, like I said a little bit ago, the earth cam is pointed at Dealey Plaza down there, right where... It happened. So, a negative recently said, JFK Jr. was never really killed. He said that. What he's saying is that he had never really been killed. You know, I mean, people thought he died in the plane crash. He hadn't really died. He's going to be sacrificed, you guys. I don't know who's going to do it, but they know all this stuff that's going to happen. I mean, from all the decoding I did with JFK's speeches and his interviews before 11-22-63, um, he knew it was all coded in all his interviews. I mean, I have to just go back and look at it. Look at the timestamps, like at the 5s, 17s, 23s, 45s, you know, put the video Listen to what he says at different timestamps and you're going to get all, just write them all down in a row and you're going to get like a story. And he knew it was going to happen. John knows it's going to happen. I, I should say Joseph Patrick because that's who it is. Um, and John Denver is one of them. You know how my um, avatar is, not avatar, but you know, anyway, it's a picture of me with 106, not 106, I always say that wrong. Uh, Vincent Fusca, in uh, when we went to Trump D.C. a couple years back, and it's John Denver. And negatives confirmed which one it was. Uh, I knew it wasn't the real John or Junior because he was too way too short. I towered over him. I mean, you know, I, I'm I'm tall, but you know, towering over somebody, it's kind of a big deal. Um, yeah. So I looked at John Denver specials and. Uh, I looked at one from 1975. I was just happening to, I was just having fun watching him because I thought, oh, I met John Denver, you know, and he was dressed as Vincent Fusca, you know, so that's the only reason I was watching. It was all in comms. And um, 35 minutes on this special, it said, by 3507. What got me was he said, bunch of nails driven in. I heard him say that. And I was like, I mean, of course he was talking about something else. 
But when he said that, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to pay attention to this. And then at 35, 17, because of POTUS 35, here's the captain, because he's, he's the head of us. And then 35, 44, angel, um, 36, 22, really, really safe. And that's as far as I got, because I was like exhausted, you know, like some of this stuff is just exhausting. You know, you're writing all this stuff down. Anyway, enough about that. This was a long video. Um, I got through a lot, though. I feel good about that. And uh, anyway, like I said, if you guys can help each other with the questions, that would be awesome. If you do know, and if somebody can't hear, please don't pick on them, because there are some elderly people out there that can't hear it. And I understand. I, you know, and I was trying to say to a certain person, like, you know, maybe you could put the closed captioning on, but I don't know if they know how, you know, it's hard to explain, you know, writing, how to, how to check that, but try to have patience with each other and be kind to each other. And, um, you know, try to act like Jesus. I know that's hard, but you know, that's, that's how we should be. And, uh, anyway, I hate to be preachy. <laughs> I'll be like church lady, the church lady. Like I said at the beginning, that's awful. Um, but I love you guys and thank you for all your support, your comments and your questions. And I'll try to get to the, you know, like I said, I'll pick some and do it on the next video. And if I forget, yell at me. Okay. Cause if I don't have it written down, I won't remember. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I love you. And I hope the weather's better where you are than here. Cause it's absolutely pouring rain. So I hope you're dry and, uh, take care of each other. Okay, take care of each other and kiss everybody and hug them and all that stuff. <laughs> Love you. Bye.